And welcome back. Well, our next guest has already been named America's Top Young Scientist. She is the winner of a Global Paradigm Science Challenge. She is a three-time TEDx speaker and a published author, and she's only 15 years old. We are thrilled to be chatting with Gitanjali Rao. She was just named Time Magazine's Kid of the Year. Good morning to you, Gitanjali. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited. I mean, you are such an impressive kid. Congratulations. I got to know, what was the first thing you thought when you found out you were the kid of the year out of 5,000 kids? I was mind blown. It was totally unbelievable, but I'm so honored and humbled to be among the amazing people on the cover of the Time Magazine in the past, as well as the fantastic finalists of Kid of the Year. Well, it's pretty cool. So you win a cash prize. You get to be a reporter for Time for Kids. You've got this huge honor, especially being at the Nickelodeon event as well. What are you looking forward to most? What does this mean to you? Oh, I think the biggest thing is I hope I'm representing anybody, anybody who wants to be an innovator, anybody who wants to be a change maker. By being on the cover, I am basically representing no matter what age you are, if you want to make positive change, I'm showing that. And that's really what I want to see is I want to see innovators start to grow and learn and realize that they can do it too. Well, that's what I love about you. You're so motivating towards other kids. You're 15 um, and you've been doing this for a long time. You published your first book at nine years old. So it's not like this is something new for you. What do you say to kids who look up to you and think like, I, I could never catch up to her. I could never do that. I like to say that I'm a kid doing what she loves. And that's exactly what all of you out there should be doing is dream big and then think back to reality because there's no one stopping you but yourself. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you have a patent pending. You got to tell us about this because this is a, a I, I actually saw you talk about it and demonstrate it. It's something to detect lead in water faster, right? Yeah. So my device is called Tethys and it detects lead in drinking water faster and more inexpensive than the current tools out there today. And it's based on carbon nanotube sensor technology and it sends all the results to an app on your phone. So cool. Okay, so how did you get involved? What, what got you so interested in science and I assume math as well? They kind of go hand in hand. And there wasn't really an aha moment when everything started to come together, but instead it was like this continuous growth and development of this passion for helping other people and helping the community, as well as my passion for learning about scientific concepts that might have been too hard for me at that age, even at this age, and combining it together to use science for kindness, which is what innovation is. Well, and I know kindness is such a hot button, especially with kids your age. It's so important that people spread kindness and talk about kindness. Why do you think that? Because that is something I've heard you talk about is how important science and kindness are together. What does that mean? Yeah. I think there's, it's almost like this other layer. I like to say that I can't see a world filled with positivity and kindness without science involved because it, it plays a part in everything. And I am a huge, huge ambassador of kindness. And I'm just, I just think that whatever we should be doing, we should be putting a positive message out there. And my approach to putting a positive message out there is by using innovation and using what I excel at. Well, kindness is infectious, right? It has that ripple effect. What do you do for fun? I just got to know. Take all the science off the table. What's something that you do for fun? Um, I've, I've been saying this a lot, but I watch movies like crazy, especially during quarantine. Anything that's long and on a screen, I will watch. And um, recently I got into baking. I'm not the best at it, but I made bread and I feel accomplished, so. <laughs> I feel like you're going to try and bake bread and you're going to make some like scientific thing that saves the world. Like it's, it's just going to happen on accident for you. I don't, I don't doubt it. <laughs> Flour is not my cup of tea. <laughs> well, don't worry. That's okay. You've got other cups of tea. It's such a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for joining us, Katanjali, and congratulations. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right, people can check out the show. It's coming up tonight at 6.30 on Nickelodeon's The Kid of the Year, hosted by Trevor Noah.